notice I'm creating an enemy class. In this case, it's the missile. I could call it a missile if I wanted to, but again, it's calling the super class, which is the same as the player class. It's using the Pygame sprite. It's loading the image. It's setting the white to be transparent and it's getting the rectangle. So far, it's exactly the same as it was. Now, this is setting a property of this called center. So I am, we're getting a, a we're, we're placing this, we're setting a property called center, which is the center of that sprite, the absolute middle. So in terms of the image, it's just finding, it's saying we're gonna put this, this pixel in the very middle of the sprite at this location. So I'm giving it screen coordinates. And what you'll see here is screen width plus 20 and screen width plus 100. What that means is the sprite is actually starting on the left-hand side of the screen. So if I have the screen like this, I want this, the missiles to fly from off the screen into the screen. So I'm starting it between 20 and 100 pixels off the edge. And why, why do I have them starting at random distances off the edge? Because the more random elements you can introduce to the game, the more interesting the behavior of those things is. I'll leave that for a second in case I need it. And then the screen height. So the, that's the X coordinate, right? Between 20 and 100 off the right-hand side of the screen. And the random integer for the vertical coordinate basically says, well, we want it to be somewhere between here and here. So we've got zero and the screen height. So now it's gonna appear somewhere in this area and, and fly into the screen. And then one more thing, we're setting the speed to a, a random integer between five and 20. So it means it moves between five pixels and 20 pixels. If I set that to five and 200, what you're gonna see is, oh, that's not the right one. I'm gonna run this one. What you'll see is that some of these will fly incredibly fast. So some of the things you change on a game impact the difficulty of the game, how fast the missiles move, how many missiles there are, that sort of thing. Just like the player sprite, Just like the player sprite, this sprite has an update method. Every sprite should have an update method, which basically says, when I update everything, what am I going to do? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move negative self.speed, which so basically whatever that number is, the random number that we assigned to speed, we're moving to the left, which is why the negative, and we're not moving vertically at all. So... Every time we update, we're gonna to move to the left that, that number of spaces. And then what it says here is, if the right-hand side of that sprite, so the right-hand side of the missile is less than zero, meaning it moves off the edge of the screen, then self.kill is imposed. And that's a method that's inherited from this sprite class that basically says, we don't need that. We don't need that missile anymore because it flew off the screen. So let's get rid of it. Otherwise, we'll have a memory leak in our program, and we'll be very sad. 